Good evening and welcome to Africa Focus here on Co TV. We start tonight in the South African state of Mozambique, where the nation headed to the polls on Wednesday in a significant election that could shape the future of its leadership. The friendly Mo party in power for half a century is expected to retain control, though the election brings with it a moment of change for the country. Here's a closer look at this historic vote. The people of Mozambique took to the polls early on Wednesday with voting beginning at 7 a.m. local time. Among the first to cast his vote was President Felipe Nyusi, who is stepping down after serving the maximum two terms. Politicians called for continued calm and patience as election day passed without major incidents. Frelimo's presidential candidate, 47-year-old Daniel Chapo, is a fresh face in national politics. Unlike previous candidates, Chapo did not fight in Mozambique's war of independence, having been born two years after the country gained freedom from Portugal in 1975. He presents himself as an agent of change while still carrying the Frelimo's banner. Chapo's main challenges include independent Venancio Mondlane, former rebel commander Osufo Mumade from the Renamo party, and Lutero Simango of the Mozambique Democratic Movement. As voting tallying began shortly after voting stations closed at 6 p.m. local time, the nation eagerly awaits initial results which are expected in about two weeks. As the vote tallying continues, Mozambique finds itself at a significant crossroads. This election marks a potential turning point for the country. Will the Fred Limo party, which has held power since Mozambique's independence from Portugal in 1975, continue its long-standing dominance? Will the rise of the new political voices challenge the status quo and signal a shift in its leadership? For many, the candidacy of Daniel Chapo, a younger figure not tied to the independence struggle, represents the possibility of change within the Frelimo party itself. At the same time, opposition leaders like Osufo Momade once commanded rebel forces and candidates such as Venancio Mondlane and Lutero Simango are pushing for a new direction. With the results expected in about two weeks, Mozambique and the wider region will be watching closely to see what path the country takes next. We will bring you updates as the story develops. This is Africa Focus. Stay tuned.